In today's video, we are talking about the indestructible palm brush. The one here on the right I've been using um, for the last two years in my detailing business and it has been absolutely fantastic. Why would you want to use one of these in comparison to what we all know and love, which is the work stuff brush. These are also fantastic brushes, but I gotta tell you, there are some wonderful perks with palm brushes that we're gonna get into. So guys, I'm Bryce with Sudsy Go Mobile Car Wash and Detailing. Hang in there, this is gonna be a great video. Another one of the reasons why I ended up buying a second brush, this one is dedicated just for tires when I'm applying tire shine, but I got another one for car interiors. And the reason why is because of the surface space that's on the end of this brush. It's got a really, really wide circumference. And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but listen to how tight those bristles are. Um, that is one of the advantages of using a brush like this. There's other handheld um, palm brushes on the market, but the bristles are really soft. It's almost like a makeup brush. I'm not a big fan of that personally. Um, I like bristles that are, that are stiff because as I'm cleaning, um, there's more cleaning power. And for those of you who have never cleaned with a palm brush, it's game changing because when you're grabbing a brush with your fingers like this, you start to get finger strain. You guys know what I'm talking about. Your fingers start to hurt because you're gripping it. I mean, there's really no other way to do it. I mean, I guess you can kind of hold it like this, but that's super awkward. So most of us will grip a brush, a brush like this and start cleaning the rim. With the palm brush, you're not gripping it with your fingertips. You're gripping it with your palm. It's a whole lot more comfortable, you guys. There is zero finger strain because your fingers aren't doing the work. It's your palm. So on a door panel like this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the door down with my interior cleaner, and then I'm gonna grab my palm brush because of the surface area. I'm gonna be able to clear a whole lot more space in a lot less time with a brush this large compared to like one of my smaller work stuff interior brushes. This makes very quick work of door panels, the dash on the inside, the center console, and it feels a whole lot more comfortable when you're scrubbing. Let me show you it in action. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick what I do with this type of brush when I'm cleaning car interiors, door panels, center consoles, is um, I'm, I'm using a p &S Interior Express Detailer Spray. I just use the Chemical Guys bottles. But um, by the way, can someone tell me why does this stuff smell like dog food? Like I love it and it foams up incredibly well, which is why I use it. The foaming and the cleaning power of this, I just, I love it. I can't stand the smell. So p &S, if you're listening to this video, can you put a different kind of scent uh, in your Interior Express detailer spray, you'd really make me and I think a lot of other detailers really happy. Every time I smell this stuff, I'm reminded of being inside of like a Petco. Um, if you guys disagree with me, please drop a comment below. I won't be offended. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down this door panel. I'm gonna mist this down. And then I'm gonna take my brush and spray a little bit in the brush. And you're gonna see why I love Interior Express Detailer. Look at the foaming action of this. It works incredibly well. And look how quick this is, guys. I mean, I am making just quick work of this door panel. And it's really, really comfy. You guys can see I'm using my palm, not my fingers. And so I could go at this all day long without getting finger strain. Then I'm gonna take my, my rag and I'm gonna mop it up. So you saw how quick that was. You're gonna get the same exact results using whatever brush you're using. It's gonna take you a little bit longer and you're gonna hurt your fingers doing it. Um, 
good news is I contacted the owner of this company. This brush was actually designed for chalk paint for people who um, are painting furniture. Well, for detailers, it's an amazing interior brush and it's also an amazing tire shine brush. This thing has held up for two years. I would have thought that by now the bristles would have started to fall out or that it would become softer. But look at this, it's still, you can see how tight the boar's hair is inside of this, this palm brush. It's held up incredibly well. So I reached out to the owner of the company, chalkmountainpaint.com, and I said, listen, I have been so impressed with this brush. I absolutely love it. Um, and I said, I'll tell you one of the things that surprised me is how long this has lasted. And the owner of the company said, yeah, it's because of the, the band and the adhesive process that we use to hold these together. She said it's superior. It, it is by far superior to any other brush that's out there on the market. And I believe her because guys, it's been tried, true and tested two years. Um, and uh, you can tell it's been well loved because I got a new one and look how much shorter the bristles are on this one compared to this one. I've, I've worn it down a little bit, but um, I'm gonna continue to use it. It's just a fantastic brush. Um, when I was talking to the owner, I said, hey, listen, I love to support products that work for me, that I love using, that make my process faster. And I'd like to start talking about this brush to the detail community. I said, would you be willing to offer my subscribers a discount if they decided to order one from your company? She was super cool. And she was like, of course, yeah, that's not a problem at all. So I'm gonna post a link in the description. It's get the, the discount code is SUDS in the letter N go 10 SUDS and go 10. And that'll give you 10% off of this boar's hair palm brush guys. It's about 15 bucks after the discount. I think it takes it down to like 13 something. It's a bit expensive, but I'll tell you it's well worth it. If you order one of these brushes now, you know, at the time of the posting of this video, the uh, the owner of the company is also offering free shipping. So not only do you get a 10% off discount, but you're also gonna get free shipping on any order. So get online, order these quick before that, sh that free shipping goes away. All right, you guys, so let me show you how I use this pond brush for tire shine. And like I said, I've been using this, this guy for two years. I use it on these smaller tires. I don't, I don't uh, really use this on big truck tires. I have a much larger brush that I use for that. But for um, sedans, this is, this is awesome. I freaking love it. Um, in fact, I don't use anything else. And those foam pads, they crumble, they crack, they break apart. They only last so long. They're meant to be thrown away. Whereas this brush is not meant to be thrown away, you guys. Um, it has held up for a very, very long time. Um, usually I use VRP uh, from Chemical Guys. It's a tried and true product. I've loved it. It works great. It leaves a great shine. It dries, um, dry to the touch. There's no sling. However, lately I've been gravitating towards this McKee's Tire Shine, which is SiO2 enhanced. And I gotta tell you, I'm super impressed with this product. I've been using it a lot more lately and it seems to last a really long time. So I'm a McKees fan, a McKees Tire Shine fan. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about this where it's really hard to dedicate yourself to like one line of product, right? Like I love PNS products, I love them. But uh, I find myself gravitating towards certain brands that seem to do a better job than other brands. And um, as much as I'd love to stick to one product line, so far it just hasn't worked out that way. So anyways, I'm gonna use some McKees Tire Shine today. And what I typically do, you guys, is I don't, I don't spray the tire. What I do is I spray into the brush. So we'll give it a couple of sprays here. And then as I take you in to the tire, I'll show you why I love this thing as much as I do. So you can see here again with this, I'm not using my, I'm not using my fingers, I'm using my, my palm. You can see how easy it is to take this brush and because the fibers on the boar's hair are so tight together, it really gets into the grooves really, really well. And if you've got a lip, like on some of the Audis, 
on the tires, there's that lip that kind of curves under and meets the rim. Um, when that happens, all I do, you guys, is I take my brush and I'll spray the edge like that and then I'll bring it into the edge and I'll wipe it around into the concave of the tire. And uh, it does a great job at not getting on to the rim face, which then you'll later on have to come through with a microfiber towel and wipe it off, which isn't a big deal, but you can be a little bit more precise with a palm brush where the bristles are a lot stiffer. You can be a lot more precise with it. And that's why I, I like it. So I'll give this a couple more sprays. Let me see if I can angle my camera down here a bit and finish this off. And we're done. So again, chalkmountainpaint.com. I'm gonna post a link for this brush um, in the uh, description below my video, but you cannot go wrong with this brush, you guys. I promise you, take a chance on it. You won't regret it, and it'll be in your arsenal for years to come. These bristles, I don't know how they make these brushes. I really don't, I have no idea how they do it. I'm half tempted to tear one apart just so I can see what's the secret sauce, but guys, the bristles don't fall out and I've been using it for two years. You can see how well loved this thing has been. But um, listen, I like to promote the products that work really well. Um, I think that that's really important for us to really kind of sift out what's the crap product out there, what's the good stuff. And this brush is phenomenal. So it's a chalk brush, but I use it as a tire shine brush and as an interior cleaner brush. And um, I don't see myself going to anything anything else so guys i hope this video was helpful for you i'm going to start posting a lot more video product videos uh, to highlight just the different tools that i use um, in my detailing business so hope you're having a fantastic day please like and subscribe this video it, it uh, really means a lot to me and every like every subscribe certainly helps hope you guys are having a great day we'll catch you on the next one